Hello everyone, I just want to do a brief overview for our first major assignment, which is the scholarly essay synthesis. In terms of format, just as a reminder, this is an English class, so we want to focus on using MLA. I've posted a link to the Purdue OWL free MLA guidelines, so if you've been used to using APA or ASA or anything, you just want to refresh with MLA. In terms of the other specifications, everything is pretty much the same, you know, one inch margin, 12.5 times Rome and everything. Even though I can accept the PDF files, but you know, I still prefer these ones just because then we can edit together. So uh, again, what's ever easier though is fine. The due date is Monday, February 3rd at 11 p.m. So your task is to research and find one scholarly source and not a review, and I'll explain that even further in a moment, that discusses concepts of adaptation within literature and or film, right? So you could really, you have kind of free range. You could use the works that we're reading uh, and watching. You could use any other kind of, um, book to movie adaptation and so forth you know so whatever you feel like um you know you, whether you're in the comics there's a lot about you know all the marvel and dc um there's a lot of articles about all sorts of the harry potter everything so just look to a um, kind of literature and film pair that you're interested in and that would be my best suggestion in terms of starting point you know and so basically just look at how they are analyzing the adaptation itself so the parameters, of course, we want legitimate journals, you know, or books, because it could be chapter from a book, and we want them to be fairly recent, you know, uh, and the whole response should be about one to two pages. Um, you'll probably go a little over, but it really depends on how long the article is. You basically, the whole purpose is to investigate how academics approach the study of literature and to strengthen your analytical skills, basically, you know, how do people study adaptations. So, you know, equally important too, to just, you know, demonstrate your level of critical thinking and research abilities. And so that's kind of the first assessment that I want to find with this major assignment. In terms of the essay itself, what you want to do is not just summarize the article. You want to provide you know, a summary of the author's main thesis and minor arguments, but you really want to go more in depth with your analysis and talk about the meaning and significance and so forth. So it's not just like an annotation, which could be just kind of a paragraph summary. So the first two paragraphs should really focus on summarizing the author's main thesis and all the kind of minor arguments that the author's making. The next paragraphs, which should be about two to four paragraphs, should be focusing on the summary of evidence and examples. So really take time. And again, that's the difference between annotation and, you know, a synthesis. Really take time to discuss how they use evidence and how they use examples to prove their points. And then in your last paragraph, you pretty much want to focus on the overall purpose for the essay. You know, what are the author's concluding thoughts, of course. But then, like, what's the overall purpose? Is it to kind of reinvent our interpretation is it to expose an issue is it to kind of you know teach something about the works or whatever so really focus on again the purpose at that last paragraph and again that should be about one to two paragraphs so if you look basically there should be at least four paragraphs if not more you know for this assignment now, the databases to use would, should be provided by the library. They're much better than, of course, Google Scholar. Google Scholar can be okay, but sometimes they're not, and I've run into this in the past where people lose a decent amount of points is because they're not academic sources. So you really want to make sure you have a good, clear academic source. So if you haven't used the Primo or just the library databases in general, they're kind of divided now between a couple of things where you could go to Primo, specifically right or you could go to the specific databases the best thing to do is really just try out the the primo itself because if you do just like film adaptation let's just see what comes up and uh, you know you could do library catalog everything i'm just doing everything just to break it down but notice how there's all sorts of things right now you, you probably wouldn't be into uh Turgenev's fathers and sons but find something that's you know very interesting to you and again be very specific too you know if you want to do harry potter or comic book movies and so forth but notice how everything is peer-reviewed and that's why the primo source is pretty good notice how too you're getting things book video so you got to be careful of course of um making sure that you know it, it's a, a shorter work for you to read you don't need to go into an entire book right you could do a chapter from a book if you're interested for example this one's uh, i've read this before and taught it before and that's pretty good but notice how a lot of times you get books and things like that so sometimes you need to kind of fix the parameters so there's a lot of different kind of types you could do articles instead of book chapters and you could apply filters there you want to apply the 
date filter. So like make sure it's like from, you know, 2005 to 2020 and so forth. So, you know, this would just be a better way to kind of find scholarly sources that are legitimate, peer reviewed sources. You don't have to worry about, again, with Google Scholar, you don't have to worry about things not being um, uh, illegitimate. Um, now, with these, notice how they say article and all that. If you see something that in the title says review, don't use that. Most of the stuff probably will not come up in terms of a general a Yale search, but make sure that, again, it's an article and an essay from a scholarly journal and so forth. And notice how it says peer reviewed. So you're pretty much good with the primo parameters. Again, uh, this page is down. Oh, here we go. Um, so you could also use the specific databases, you know, JSTOR, Academic Search Ultimate, Project Muse are specifically for films as well as um, literature. So, you know, those are pretty decent ones to use. But you want to, you know, definitely make sure that you have scholarly sources. In terms of the grading scale, what I'm looking for is basically what I outlined here, right? Your essay should, again, clearly outline what the author's argument is, what the entire essay is generally about, right? What the major points are and what the author is hoping to accomplish. The, uh, there should be a specific summary of the thesis and minor premises. So I should have a, sh a really good idea of what the author is trying to argue and prove. Really important is the evidence, right? Summarize and connect all the kind of evidence, textual and visual examples that they're using to prove their analysis of whatever literature and film pair you find. Again, I want to have a good specific last paragraph in your essay that, you know, summarize the overall conclusion and, of course, the purpose, you know, and think about, you know, which audiences is you're trying to reach and so forth, right, in terms of the essay. In terms of, you know, grammar and format, always important and something that you're actually um, tested on in terms of university expectations. So, you know, everything should be in proper, you know, standard diction, comprehensible grammar, and then it can format, you know, so you don't want to lose minor points for those aspects. Obviously, if you have questions, again, keep emailing, post them in the discussion board, the general, you know, question discussion board in Canvas. If not, best of luck to you on your First assignment, remember that you can submit drafts, both with the peer review form that I'll create, as well as just emailing me any kind of drafts you want me to review. If you have any questions, again, please use those avenues. If not, good luck on the assignment and take care.